Hello and welcome back to Batman Arkham Asylum. When we last left off, when we last left off, I had just done a load of riddles in episode 15.5. So if you didn't watch that, I completely understand. It was just me finding loads of riddles wasn't very exciting. But now we're getting back to the story after I read four more character biographies, of course. We have to do this properly after all. So we've seen we've seen these people. We've seen that guy. Who else have we seen? We haven't seen this guy, Bruce Wayne. Let's have a look at Mr. Bruce. Born into the wealthy Wayne family, Bruce Wayne had an idyllic childhood, although he was given a strong sense of justice by his moralistic and philanthropic parents, Thomas and Martha. After their violent murder at the hands of a mugger, idyllic childhood as I say, Bruce dedicated his life to battling the criminal element that took their lives. He left Gotham for many years to train his mental and physical abilities across the globe, finally returning to take up the mantle of the Dark Knight. Real name, Bruce Wayne. Occupation, CEO slash philanthropist. Base operations, Gotham City, eyes blue, hair black. Height and weight, the same as Batman's, funnily enough. First appearance, also the same as Batman's. It looks like his attributes are also the same as Batman's. Very good. It's almost as if they're the same person. So let's go, Mr. Gordon. Police Commissioner James W. Gordon dedicated his career to cleaning up the corruption in the Gotham City Police Department, a goal he has come a long way towards accomplishing. He has been equally tough on crime, and in the pursuit of making Gotham City safe for all its citizens, Gordon has forged an uneasy alliance with Gotham's other top crime fighter, the mysterious vigilante known as Batman. Real name, James W. Gordon, Occupation Police Commissioner, Base of Operations Gotham City, Eyes Blue, Hair White, Formerly Brown, Height 6 Feet, Weight 180 Pounds. First appearance, same as Batman. Attributes, Experienced Police Officer, Trained Criminal... Proficient in Hand-to-Hand -hand Fighting Techniques, and an Expert Marksman. Very good, very good. Who is this person? Penny Young was always a brilliant student who was prepared to do anything to advance professionally. Hmm. She has built up a reputation for being a cold, calculating woman focused only on the project at hand. She was hired at Arkham Asylum by Warden Quincy Sharp to lead the asylum's research department and to finally restore to sanity the more deranged of Gotham City's supervillains. Real name Penny Blum. Occupation, Head of Research, Base of Operations, Arkham Asylum, Eyes Blue, Hair Brunette, Height 5 foot 6 inches, Weight 121 pounds, First Appearance, This Game. Graduated from Gotham City with top honours, dedicated to the pursuit of a psychiatric cure for various forms of criminal insanity, highly focused on career ambitions, intolerant of people who get in the way of her work. Oh my. We know Mr. Nigma, so let's look at Bane. Oh my, he's rather bulky. Imprisoned from birth to save his dead father's sent to serve his dead father's sentence, Bane was raised inside the horrific environs of a Santa Prisca prison. His only friend in the hellhole was a teddy bear he named Osito. Finding solace in the smuggled bucks and meditation, he developed incredible powers of concentration. When he was subjected to military experiments using a steroid codenamed Venom, his iron-forged will helped him survive when other test subjects had died, and he managed to escape. Determined to prove his worth, he sought out Batman and broke the Dark Knight's spine, but Batman recovered and managed to best Bane, cutting off the precious Venom, su venom supply that transforms Bane into a superhuman. I wonder why he randomly went after Batman then. That seems very odd. Real name, unknown. Occupation, professional criminal. Base of operations, Gotham City. Eyes, brown, when on Venom, green. Hair, brown. Funnily enough, they're neither brown nor green in that. That's pretty pretty good there, Bane. Height, five foot, si five foot six inches, when on Venom. Venom, six foot six, eight inches. Come on. Weight, 140 pounds. That's rather light. When on Venom, 350 pounds, which... Really? That size, you think, is 350 pounds? Like Killer Croc before him, he just must be full of mostly air. First appearance, Batman Vengeance of Bane, January 1993. 
Master Strategist. Oh yes, he certainly showed off some amazing strategy when I fought him. Intense focus. Abnormally strong reaction to Venom, giving him incredibly enhanced physical abilities. Determined to best Batman and all others who challenge him. Very good, very good. So that's our four. Oh my. Let's take out the one with the gun! There we go. Die, sir. Yip -a -ba -boom. Very good. We survived without dying, which is generally what surviving is all about. Let's have a look around here. So yeah, I'm aware that my solving all those riddles in that big chunk in episode 15.5 probably wasn't the most compelling way to go about it. So I'm going to try and solve more riddles as I go from now on, now that I've sort of properly got the hang of the game and know how it all feels and all of that. Damn. It's locked. Let's go up here then. I didn't solve as many- Oop, here we go, baby! Pull it down! Oh, I'm the king of everything. What do we got here? I'm just going to randomly press X in the hope that I somehow solve a riddle that way. Kadoodle! Ooh, look at this! The island changed little over the years. Its reputation was in tatters, but I vowed to fix it. As the buildings were rebuilt, I saw the future. A bright, wonderful future. I missed a lot of these things. Because hopefully it'll all be sorted out when I get a new gadget, but currently there are bits of explodable walls that are, you know, out of reach, and I can't spray the stuff on them because they're out of reach. So I, when I was looking around for riddles... Who is the main man in the main hall? Joker, Probably that statue there. For you all. First, the good news. We have Dr. Young. Bad news, she's not talking. She's in the documents somewhere in the mansion. I want it out. As if these... I will plan on six solutions in the meantime, search every cook and granny. There's a prize for whoever finds them. I need to find those notes before Joker does. Come on. As if these men can read. Look everywhere. Try, huh? That's the prize you gave and I'll cut my foot in the middle. This is stupid. You're stupid. Gonna stop talking? Good. Now I can beat you up. Hello! Nice to meet you all. No, you don't, sir. Come on, there's plenty of them here. I want to get a nice, proper combo going. Damn, only five. Come on. Let's go for a hundred. Damn you! You ruined everything! Yeah, you didn't need those balls. Whoa! Massive, massive lag. They, clearly the game could not handle my streak of 14! Oh yeah! <laughs> You're all doomed! That's what happens when you mess with me. Right. So I think that is the main man in the main hall. Oh, look. There's a Riddler trophy as well. Oh, no. No subject detected. Well, I'll just get that Riddler trophy then. Whoops. What am I doing? No! I want the trophy. Get down. Silly bats. I thought you'd never not be an idiot. I'm sure... I mean, okay, I guess it's a bit obvious. But I'm just going to check to make sure... 
There's definitely no subject detected here. But maybe if I'm on top of the place proper. <sighs> nice waste baskets. Really sort of don't fit in, do they? <gasps> Teeth! Beautiful. Teeth in there too. I gots to get ya. I gots to get you all. No! Yeah. So what do we have in here? Nothing. Though it was just for the teeth, I guess. So this is not the main man in the main hall, no? Hmm. Is this the main hall? <laughs> this room at all? Zoom in, see if that helps. Alright, definitely, definitely not that big statue. See, this is kind of why I did most of my riddle searching off air and only filmed me solving them, because this is what I'm like, sort of derping around uselessly. Let's look at the map. Where am I supposed to go? Wherever I want, I guess. I just have to search the mansion and find her notes. Let's get up here. And let's look at that um, riddle challenge. This fiendish puzzle literally appears at thin air. Okay. Uh, where am I currently? What does a bird need in the rain? Am I in the main hall? How do you tell these things? Yes, I'm in the main hall. So the riddle is definitely in this room. So we know that. I know I cannot stop fixating on that statue, but clearly that is not, not the answer. Ooh, maybe, maybe this? No. So, main man in the main hall. Main man. Could this be like a reference to some sort of supervillain I don't know about? Just search all around the hall. I mean, maybe it's something to do with that skull he's holding. Nope. Though, maybe if I'm completely, absolutely on top? No, and no, I'm just being silly. Whoa, bats! We have to have a look around. Whoa, now! I didn't even intend to do such a thing. Sort of have a look around these areas. There's nothing in there that looks like a main man, but what about this? You cannot open that door. What's wrong with you, Batsy? Ooh, a patient tape! A patient tape, people! Let's get it going on. Hello, patient tape. Patient interview one. Patient would refer to me after the incident with Dr. Murphy. He appears to have suffered a breakdown of sorts. I believe it was brought about after the loss of his wife and child. As yet, the patient has been unable to speak. Continued observation shows little mental activity. It's as if the shock of what he saw triggered his mental collapse. There's someone in here! Very nice, very nice. But still nothing that looks like a main man. This is going to torment me forever. Wait. We have not been up here. Ooh. Excellent. New brick, metal and paint covered old wounds. Fresh blood was injected into the body. Bright new minds came and all swore to uphold our promises. We all knew we were the ones to fix this city. 